Welcome back, everyone. This is the two-month update of our ongoing 41-way ceramic coatings, waxes, and sealants product longevity test. Once again, we have had a lot of rain this past month, along with pretty average temperatures, but we're getting now into the summer months where it will frequently get above 100 degrees Fahrenheit or about 39 degrees. The last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen, is on your screen. We'll spray this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and rinse it again, and then check all of the hydrophobics before we dry everything off. As usual, the link's in the video description as to where you can buy these products as it does help this channel out. I also have an awesome spreadsheet with all the info on all these products in the video description. If you'd like to support the channel, that information is on your screen here. And if you're new to the channel, not familiar with these tests, I've been doing tests like these for the last six years now. This hood stays outside of our shop here in East Texas, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the elements, and we will wash and inspect it on a weekly basis for the first month, and then on a monthly basis after that until the last one fails or to, until we get to about the two year mark. I do have other tests with different products always running right now alongside this one, so please go check those out. These tests are not possible without your support, and I'm purposely unsponsored because I will make the promise to you that I will never accept money for a review of a product. Completely neutral, unbiased, and that 100% of these products are purchased out of my own pocket unless otherwise stated. As I said earlier, I don't do paid reviews for companies, and believe me, they've tried because I want to know the real truth behind the best detailing products out there for you, for me, and for our clients. I do want to take a moment to remind you, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Smash that like button and comment down below. It does help others get to see these videos by doing so. We're nearing the 25,000 subscriber mark and growing quickly. So I wanna thank you guys for all the continued support and please be sure to share these videos to show your support for independent channels like this. So if you haven't followed this, this specific test in the past, I made a decision to use a silver hood and I regret it, but I can't do anything about it now. So what I've done is I've adjusted the color, the hue, the saturation, so you can see this on your screen a little easier. So now we'll go ahead and get into it. NGNT DS gel, still doing all right. Seafoam fast, fast finish we had already marked as failed. Seaquartz Finest Reserve and Seaquartz Finest Professional doing very well. Professional actually looks more hydrophobic than Reserve. Fortador Kevlar coating, that has already failed. Apex Rehydra Bead is on its way to failing. Again, this is not the sheeting product. It should not sheet, it should bead. You can see it's nearly failed already. DPC T3 Pro looks hydrophobic. Looks like it's doing all right. DPC T9 also looks like it's doing all right. Apex Metal Oxide Coating, doing good. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal, yeah. Getting nearly failing already. Nano Skin Ultra T1, T3, and their sealant. Let's see how those are doing. T1. T3 actually looks like it's doing a little better. And then the ceramic sealant, we're gonna call that failed if we haven't already. You can see that it's just a little bit, but it's failed. NGNT Pro 1K and Pro 1K Plus from Switzerland. Those are doing all right. McGuire's 3-in-1, I think we're gonna call that one failed. Avalon King, looks like it's holding up all right. Nano Age Nano Bond, right next to it. It actually looks a little more hydrophobic than Avalon King. That's an inexpensive Chinese product there, the Nano Bond Nano Age. We're Rixen 10H and Gion Can Coat. Gion Can Coat looks very hydrophobic. And there's my control, so the water's sticking to it. Drive Auto Nano 9H, this is the non-graphene product. Looking good. Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating, looks fantastic. New Finish Spray Ceramic Coating, 
a lot of hype about this product. So, so far it looks like it's delivering. Still very hydrophobic. Underdog, the Sauce Pro, even though it says Pro, it is a product that you, you and I, anybody can purchase. And it looks like it's performing quite well. Glossit 10H also looks very hydrophobic, as does Glossit 5H. Over to NG NT Pro 2K and Pro 3K. Those are multiple layer products. Looks very, very good, very hydrophobic. Grios 3 in 1 SiO2. So if you follow in my other test, the 20 way ceramic spray coatings test, Grios is about the 10 month mark now and it's still hanging in there. You know, no surprise here, two months, still doing just fine. G Technic Ultra, professional only, very hydrophobic. IGL Premier, come on, focus. IGL Premier, looks like it's very hydrophobic at the two month mark. And Owner's Pride Ceramic Coating, that's a professional only coating. I believe it's a $299, something like that. Looks like it's doing all right. ECP Tech 580 and Speedwipe Speed Coat are similar products to Owner's Pride. Same manufacturer, there may be a different formula. Not 100% sure on that. Looking at the SDSs, they're very similar. And down to Lone Star pre-production ceramic. Looks like it's doing all right, as is IGL Easy Graphene. ELHO 12H from AliExpress, already failed. Chemical Guys Hydro Slick and Hydro Charge also both failed. Chemical Guys Carbon Force Ceramic Coating. Looking all right, it's a little weak, not too bad. And Ammo Reflex Pro, not failed, but it's not as hydrophobic as it once was. There is your update for the 60 day mark, the two month mark. Any surprises, let me know in the comments. Any of them that you're rooting for, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So that's where we're at now. Thank you guys again for watching. Again, the spreadsheet in the, in the video description and the Amazon Associates links on where you can find any of these. Thanks again, we'll see you soon.